Authorities in the U.S. city of Baltimore say the bodies of two construction workers have been recovered following the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge when it was struck by a cargo ship. Four workers remain missing and divers are unable to safely reach the area where it's believed they may be located. These are live pictures from the scene where the search for the men has been suspended due to bad weather conditions. Salvage crews are working to ad address dangerous materials and accident investigators are on the scene. Our North America correspondent David Willis reports. 25 feet beneath the surface, near what had been the center of the bridge, divers recovered a red pickup truck with two bodies inside it. Maintenance workers who'd been repairing potholes at the time the structure collapsed. Four of their colleagues are still missing and their bodies may never be found. Today, we transitioned from search and rescue to recovery. We need to bring a sense of closure and comfort to the families and we take that very seriously. The missing include Miguel Luna, a father of three from El Salvador, and Meno Suazo Sandoval from Honduras, like the rest, migrant workers from Central America. The container ship Dale, piled high with cargo, lost power shortly before smashing into a support column, causing the entire bridge to collapse. The whole bridge just fell down raining steel onto the bow of the ship and blocking one of the country's busiest trading ports. Our entire focus on scene is to collect the perishable evidence. That's documenting the scene, it's taking photographs, it's taking any sort of electronics or components, uh, whatever goes away once the scene is cleaned up. Officials say the cargo included hundreds of tons of so-called hazardous materials, some of which spilled into the water. Investigators have now recovered the vessel's data recorder, the nautical equivalent of a black box, and have started interviewing members of the ship's crew. In particular, they will want to know why the Dali suddenly lost power so soon after leaving port. David Willis, BBC News, Los Angeles. Michael Bell is a professor of ports and maritime logistics at the University of Sydney. He told us more about the impact that this closure will have on shipping and logistics for the US. I can see it's a complete disaster for Baltimore uh, with tragic loss of life. But uh, from a container shipping point of view or indeed a car carrier point of view, it's a port of call and it just means Baltimore can't be called at. So I think container shipping will continue. Uh, it's a bigger impact on uh, car shipping, uh, car carrier. It's, it, it's a more significant port from the point of view of cars. There will be short-term logistical problems for some time, as you say. But I, I think it's really more of a local issue. I, I don't think the UK or indeed Australia are really going to notice very much. I see that uh, President Biden's sort of uh, already offered to <laughs> reconstruct the bridge. Um, but uh, in terms of insurance claim, it, it's going to be enormous. And there are concerns about uh, the effect that that might have. Um, my understanding is that the ship was uh, insured with the Britannia P&I Club. And uh, uh, the Britannia Club, as far as I can see, despite the name, it's it's got it's based in a number of countries. Uh, but nonetheless, it's going to put, I think, a big strain on the uh, P and I Club system because they, they basically the, there are thirteen P and I clubs that uh, are together in an international group, and they will be sharing the. Uh, the costs between them, but uh, even despite the sharing and the reinsurance, it's going to be a significant hit. It's not just the bridge, uh, which is clearly a risk to shipping and has to be removed, but uh, there will be containers floating around in the water, I suspect. I don't know how many of those actually fell in the uh, into the sea, but uh, 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 containers floating or semi-floating or semi-submerged are a, a well-known hazard to particularly smaller ships. But yeah, so it's going to take a long time to re-clear that uh, passageway. 
That was Professor Michael Bell from the University of Sydney. And these are live pictures again from Baltimore where the bridge collapsed earlier this week. And just a reminder that authorities say they have found the bodies of two construction workers in a submerged pickup truck. The search at the moment for four other missing men has been suspended because of the bad weather conditions there. That's the story we'll continue to cover here on BBC News.